happy Sunday to all of you. Thanks for tuning in to the Cigar Vixen channel. I hope you guys have had a fabulous weekend and looking forward to a nice week ahead. So coming at you with my recommended five cigars for your week of smoking. Starting with number five, we have the Diesel. This is the Esteli Puro in a Robusto format. So not only is it a Nicaraguan puro, but it's a puro from Esteli specifically. So using all tobacco from Esteli, a beautiful region of, of Nicaragua, one of my favorites. It's a small town kind of feel, but they're just incredible um, tobacco fields there. I just love it. So this one hits you with a lot of flavor. So you get a good amount of uh, robust types of flavors. So you get the earthiness, you get the leathers, you get a nice amount of spice in there. And then every so often you get some subtle um, hints of sweetness, but a beautiful aroma. And then again, a nice balance of flavor and strength together um, with that one. And that's again, a collaboration. Diesel does all his cigars with AJ Fernandez. So as you know, I say it all the time, AJ uh, makes some incredible cigars. So it's nice to See him continuing um, you know those collaborations diesel's been one brand that has worked with aj now since the start and um, it's it's great to see it progressing every year and adding you know more blends into the rotation so very nice um, continuing on with number four this week we have the nat chico anniversario 1965 this one has made my top five numerous times it's a beautiful offering from nat chico um, great brand and um, just love the whole presentation of it. It's very elegant. Featuring an Ecuadorian Habano wrapper, a Nicaraguan binder and filler. You get a nice nuttiness to it, cedar, a little bit of an orange peel citrus, and then you get the underlying um, black pepper that's kind of in and out as you smoke the cigar. So completely um, balanced and um, nice subtle complexities through, throughout the entire smoking experience. Number three is this beautiful cigar that I'm smoking. This is the Southern Draw Rose of Sharon. Um, yeah, just a huge fan. Again, Southern Draw is another one, actually another one that ha makes their cigars uh, with AJ. So go figure, <laughs> there's a trend here. Um, yeah, but the Rose of Sharon is just a beautiful offering. Again, from Southern Draw Cigars, they make um, just some fantastic cigars. They're one of those brands, I, I say it with a few brands that it's, if you see them in the humidor, pretty much any of their cigars that they offer um, are gonna be just well suited for a variety of smokers. And the Rose of Sharon is a little bit more refined, subtle, not as, it's not a weak cigar, it's not a mild cigar, it's right in that medium standpoint, but it's just a very elegant presentation, a beautiful, refined richness to it. So this one has an Ecuadorian cloud-grown Claro wrapper, Nicaraguan Habano binder, uh, Nicaraguan Corojo 99 Ligero, Dominican Piroto Cubano Ligero um, in the filler. So you get, again, the light cedar, the creamy cashews, a uh, little bit of like a red pepper, raisin, light roast coffee comes into play. And then there's that little earthiness that's more along the lines of a hay kind of a you know, barnyardish type of feel to it. Not very strong, just a little subtle nuance of that, but really nice offering. Uh, number two is going out to the Hoya Numero Uno. Great cigar, um, absolutely love this cigar. Again, Hoya is another one of those brands. Um, huge fan of their entire portfolio. Uh, I have a ton of Hoya cigars in my humidor at all times, um, just different times of the year, different times of the day, depending on what you're pairing. Um, this one is fabulous with a variety of spirits. So I'm trying to remember the pairing that I used this one for, and I can't remember, but I know that I've paired this one with um, an Añejo tequila. I've done it with scotch. Um, in fact, I think I did it with, um, yeah, it was a scotch. It was the Nutty by Nature, now that I'm recalling. It was a pairing I did a while back from this scotch society that I'm, it's like a club that I'm a part of. They send these really nice bottles of scotch out every so often. And this one I paired with that, and it's a beautiful offering. Um, with that particular scotch, it was a nutty, nutty uh, kind of a profile that they pulled from each other. So this one has an Ecuadorian Connecticut wrapper, uh, Nicaraguan binder and filler, cinnamon, nutmeg, red pepper, caramel, a little bit of maple in the overall notes on this one. Um, again, just a beautiful offering that was first released initially, I think it was for like dignitaries or it was like a special 
not released to the public kind of a thing and then it became so popular that they just like okay here we go we're going to release it to to everybody else and we're glad that they did because it's a beautiful cigar um, which brings me to number one not a stranger to my top fives or any of my review lists at all this is the sobre mesa brulee beautiful cigar absolutely love it um, again pretty much everybody on my list and th just they're great so steve saka he's one of those that um, again, I haven't smoked a cigar of his that I didn't like. He just makes some really awesome cigars. And I think most of you out there will agree. Um, I haven't run across anybody that didn't like his cigars, not personally anyway. Um, so the Sobre Mesa Brulee coming in with an Ecuadorian Connecticut shade wrapper, San Andres Negro binder, um, Nicaraguan filler, um, beautiful notes of cedar. You get caramel, you get little bits of like toffee, butter, cream, anise, pecan nuttiness earthy little bits some um, subtle like cinnamon spice you get all these nuances it's just like a blast of flavors that are very pleasant um, throughout your entire smoking experience so definitely one that you want to pick up a couple boxes if you can find them which you should be able to find them easily um, in most humidors but just a beautiful beautiful cigar so again Thanks for watching. Happy Sunday to you all. And I'll provide those links in the text of the video so you can find all of these cigars mentioned and hopefully add them to your humidors. So cheers and God bless.